Honey, Toddy, gosh almighty, who the heck are they? Hey, flim, flam, bim, bam, old miss. By golly, and welcome to Vaughn Hemingway Stadium where the Rebels are ready to take the field. What a scene this is, a veritable cavalcade of colors, stripe after stripe that they hope leaves the visitors dizzy. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Auburn Tigers, taking on the fifth-ranked team in the land, the Ole Miss Rebels. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports. Pebbles will get this season underway as Toe meets Leather. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. The Tigers' offense will start this game off. And this big fella can beat you in a number of different ways in the passing game, David. He has so much fun to have a guy that I can rely on, that can beat guys over the middle of the field, that can beat man-to-man -man coverage. This guy's the ultimate weapon. And I love that this guy has an awesome catch radius. You don't have to be perfect as a quarterback when you throw to him. He can make you look good. From the gun, the give, looking for room. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? They'll need three yards here on third down to keep this opening drive alive. They'll try to power their way ahead. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. The Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Running back searching for a hole. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten going to run it. It's Hunter. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. On target. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. The Tigers are moving quickly down the field. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Here comes the offense on second down. Looking to throw, it's Thorne. Throws to the wideout. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Yeah, it is a nice comeback route. Most important part of the comeback route, dude, I got to sell you vertical like I'm running a go, and then I sit down and I come back to the football catch. A nice wrap by the wide receiver. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. They'll run it in the red zone. It's Cobb. They knock him down, but not before he picks up a first down for Auburn. New center downs right on the doorstep for this offense. A first down run on the doorstep. Gets it inside the 10, picks up a yard. They'll mark it at the 9. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Hunter. And that was a high percentage completion and a low efficiency pass. They lose yardage. They'll look to throw on third and goal. And the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. And all defenses talk about it. Sacks, tackles for a loss, affecting the quarterback the best way you can. The first drive of the game already getting home. Nice start for this defense. Here comes the field goal unit. The holder will spot it about 35 yards out. It is true as he puts three on the board. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3 nothing. I know one thing this head coach does every week is he challenges his guys to start fast. And it's so important today, playing on the road in this kind of environment. You saw a nice drive. They didn't get the touchdown they would have loved. But still, kicking that field goal and taking this early lead, that's a statement for the visiting team. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. He'll bring it out. It's Watkins. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Rebels offense 
will go to work for the first time. This is just a great matchup to watch on the outside and who can win downfield in the passing game. Man, this reminds me of 1997, Charles Woodson versus David Boston. Two physical athletes that are going to be going toe-to-toe -to -toe all game. Yeah, two alphas. Two guys that play in the positions where you have to have such confidence. Quarterback, wide receiver. Let's see this throwdown. To the air. It's dark. He's right on target. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. The Rebels want to crank the tempo. Shotgun snap, wants to throw it on third. Caught, close to the marker, it's Watkins. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. Well, we know this guy is special, and because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. They're on that third down. There was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it, and the big-time playmaker outside picks up the first. And he's called most to that first down marker there, saying he's a little bit short. They might want to bring out the sticks and measure, but it looks as if he'll be just short of the first down. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. And the Rebels get it up for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give to the back. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. They'll try to snap it quickly. The play action fake. Fires to the middle. Connection to the right. On the move at the 30. Oh, I thought he was taking that all the way, but they stop him at the seven. The Rebels have it in scoring position on first and goal. He'll do it himself. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. They keep pushing forward now back to work on second and goal from the six. The run up the middle trying to find his way to the goal line. They get him on the ground at the three yard line but this defense is taking some punches. Looking to throw on third and goal. And good hands there by the defense on that shot to the end zone. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. And he'll boot one from the right hash. He ought to be able to navigate that angle from this distance. And this one splits the uprights. And that's going to give us a tie ball game here in the first. Kick it away. The returner will field it and bring it back. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. Guys, that last trip a little disappointing having to take the three. Yeah, I think, Jesse, you see so many offenses talk about getting yards and the tempo and all the stuff they do. It was a nice job moving the football, but they got to get in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think to do that, they just got to be more physical at the point of attack. Get some push up front. They need to be the best running team in this game to win. Just gets it to the 20, a pickup of one. And that last run leaves him with a third down. Will they keep it on the ground? Looking downfield, it's Thorn. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. Auburn's going to have to send out the punt team. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Fair catch called for, but there is a flag on the play. We'll have to sort it out. Personal, Personal foul. foul. Up in the kicker. 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 The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Takes the handoff. It's Hunter. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. 
They try to pop a run on the draw. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. Defense. Defense just a little too eager, and that's five yards for the other. He's looking to throw it. Gets it out fast. Well, the short passing game is a great goal to for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play. So this can certainly open things up later on. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. First and goal. Absolutely nothing settled. Deadlocked after one period of play as we have a look at the stats. They'd love to start this quarter off with a touchdown right here. Quarterback on the keeper. And he's loose and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Tigers. And that's what makes this quarterback so dangerous, fellas. He can hurt you throwing the ball. Man, is he ever dangerous and explosive with his feet. You have got to be able to get this guy on the ground. If you don't, he has got way too much wiggle and speed. You saw it right there. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They put together a 65-yard drive for the score. And they close the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. Yeah, I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. You gotta get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So, let's see if they can be a little bit more physical. Snap it to the back. And with that effort, they pick up a fresh set of downs. They have it at the 34-yard line. And the Rebels moving quickly to the line. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. And the quarterback is snowed under. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. The short hands, it's Watkins. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Now on the return. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. Just a short pass to the tight end. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Caught in the backfield. It's Lambert Smith. Stopped after making the catch. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. 
He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Auburn sends out the punting unit. Couldn't get away from that cover team, and they've got him down at the 23. This drive opens up at the 23-yard line. To throw, it's dark. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route, really, when it's off coverage. But you can tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for him. He's up to 51 yards rushing, and that is quite an impressive first half here in this season opener. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. The Rebels come to the line with a new set of downs. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Turns it on at midfield. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. And the Rebels want to pick up the tempo. Yeah, that's excellent walking there on the left side of the line. They were able to get a great push, get off the line, create a little bit of crease for that running back. They just created a wall. He had all kinds of room to run. I might, I might go back to that one and call that one again. It so well. On the run, it's Bentley. Running it in the red zone, imposing their will and picking up five down to the 15. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Hand off from the shotgun. Fights his way ahead. They get him down after a pickup of three. They'll mark it at the 12. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Muscling ahead on third and short. And there were some collisions in there, and the D finally stopped him short of the marker. They're not into threes. They want sixes, and to keep this drive alive, they'll need to get it on fourth down. The Rebels get it past the sticks. The offense knocking on the door, first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Defense trying to come up with a stop on second and goal. They'll go with a direct snap. And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Ole Miss! And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole. He saw it. He put his foot in the ground. And that was Pater. those uprights right in half. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Fellas, I think at least a portion of your audience will have an interest in the one that just finished up. Ohio State is going to get out of Dodge with a win. It's a shave that might have been a little closer than Buckeyes fans wanted. But a road victory feels great no matter what the final score is. 60 minutes of football and a convincing outcome and certainly a game with implications far beyond just the standards, fellas. Hey, Kevin Connors, keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Unloads to the wideout. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Grabbed in the middle. It's Fairweather. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. This could be a real turning point in the game. 
They scored a touchdown. They got a stop. And now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. And the Rebels headed quickly to the line. On the option. It can't corral the pitch. The ball's on the ground. You've got to have better ball security on offense. The football possession, that is priceless. Losing possession, turning the ball over, that kills you in games. That loses games. And that is a bad, bad play at a bad time. They're down to the 20. First and 10. He wants to throw. And the defense makes a play, and they get the quarterback down at the 26. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then the, finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. They'll try the right side. Powers forward, but stopped after a pickup of two to the 24. Balls at the 24. A lot of confidence in their kicker from here, but they'd love to take it off of his foot and convert the first down. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Let's send out the kicker here. And for the second time in this game, he'll try to knock through a field goal. This one a 41-yarder. The official says no good. And here in the second quarter, we remain all knotted up. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. The last time they had it, they weren't secure with the football and put it on the ground, David. Yeah, and I think sometimes that will cause for you to be a little bit conservative, but keep doing you. Put that behind. It's one mistake, Jesse. Move on. I've always been a fan of getting that guy who fumbled it, the ball back early. You've got to let that guy turn the page. They need him to make plays if they're going to win this game. Caught on the outside. It's Watkins. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. Dropping back, it's dark right down the middle. And they can't make the connection on third down. The Rebels will line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. You'd think they would have had a good chance to down that one deep, but the bounce carries it into the end zone for the touchback. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. Touch pass on the run. Not much there. Picks up a couple to the 22. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. Back to the air one more time. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. There's something you don't see very often. A sack on a screen pass. You know, quarterbacks are taught to hold the ball, hold the ball, hold the ball, and then get rid of it right before the rush gets to you. But that time, I think he just held on to it a little too long. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the passer. He's back to throw on second down. 
gets it out quickly. Knocked down immediately, but a nice pickup on that one. This is a third and long. Looking for space, it's Hunter. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Running it back, it's Watkins. They're able to put a stop to that return right at the 30-yard line. Clock is wound down just over 20 seconds to go before the break. They'll have it first and 10. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. The running back has it. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. They'll immediately call timeout. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. Looking to go up top on first down. The short hands, it's Bentley. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And now on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. How about this defense making a statement to end the half with a sack? That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Gentlemen, tough to beat the pageantry and tradition there today in Oxford. It's been very evenly played through two quarters. Both teams have been physical. Both teams have battled there in the trenches. Neither has been perfect, but they're both right there in this game. And it's kind of the calm before the storm. Each side sort of licking their wounds right now, but expect another fight in a phone booth in this second half. And with that, let's head back to the Grove at our fillers at Bought Hemingway Stadium. And the Tigers will kick it off to start the second half. He'll bring it out. It's Watkins. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. First drive of the second half, always fun to watch. You see what type of tweaks were made at the half, especially when you're locked up in a ball game like this one. Yeah, and it's been a good game. I mean, it's been a little bit of back and forth and, and a feeling out process. And now once you get in the second half, who's going to get aggressive, Palmer? Who's going to take some shots, try to make some plays, and really go for it? Yeah, it's, it's interesting. I think as play callers right now, you learn a lot about these coaching staffs with respect to who does make the best adjustments. There's a lot of coaches that believe we're just going to be who we are. We're going to keep doing what we do we're just going to do it better but then there are others that tweak things a little bit on offense and on defense we're going to find out here so from the shadow of his goal post he gets the punt away he'll bring it back it's hunter this guy is a daring punt return man he's not going to settle for the fair catch a solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense now they'll run the draw hard running there is that stiff arm even a human arm? It, it looks like some type of steel bludgeoning device on his way to a first down. Back to throw. It's Thorn. Fires to the middle. It's caught downfield. Touchdown, Tiger. And that one will put him up here in the second half. Yeah, and he did a really good job selling this, dropping back to pass, waiting a little bit of time, and giving his running back a chance to run down the field. He runs the real route. He's open, throws a strike, gets in for the touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? All right, guys, want to update you on a game that went final moments ago. Colorado steamrolled its way to victory today. They scored off turnovers. They scored on gadget plays. An all-around masterpiece that'll give the folks in Boulder a ton of confidence. The circle of life in college football. 
where one team moves on feeling like kings and the other heads home licking its wounds. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Now the play fake. Fires to the wideout. Got his man. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quick pass on the fly motion. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And the Rebels want to move quickly. A little misdirection and the handoff on the counter. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no gain land. On third down, going up top. Grabbed in the backfield, it's Harris. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Gets it away, good distance, but more importantly, just the direction he wanted. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. That last drive really productive. David wound up with a touchdown. They'll try to do it again. Yeah, so I don't expect this offense to change too much, Reese. They had a great drive. They got the touchdown. Everything working. I would expect them to keep pushing this ball down. Here. And just imagine if they could put another touchdown on the board right here. They could capture so much momentum in this game with back-to-back -back TDs. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Has no choice but to throw it away, and it'll bring up fourth down. Auburn's going to have to send out the punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Looking for a block. It's Watkins. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Offense making its way onto the field to start the drive. From the gun, they'll try the middle. A solid pick up there before the defense is able to make the stop. Got six on first down, now a lot of options on second and four. Trying to move them on the counter. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. Four punts already, and they've got to convert here to avoid a fifth. They'll run the option. Now the pitch. Perfectly timed on that pitch, and they pick up the first down on the play. The Rebels will snap it on first and ten. And they've got him looking run now to pass. That one never had a chance. Incomplete. After the misfire, now on second down. Leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. A third and long coming up here. Looking downfield. It's dark. Under heat, and he gets rid of it. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And they won't be able to down it. It goes into the end zone for a touchback. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one, and David. To me, that starts with being the more physical team. Well, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game, you're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. First down here for the offense. Just can't lose focus like that. You got to know the snap count. The inside handoff. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Got a man. It's Hunter. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Now facing a third and long. And you want to know what impact home field advantage can have? There it is. The offense will walk it back. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. 
Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Got it in the middle. It's Lambert Smith. And he's tripped up, but not before picking up the first down. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner, got the speed, got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him, and especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, you find him, go make those contested catches. Leaves it with the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. And while the pass is incomplete, the flag is down. I think that was a free play for this offense. Defense was in the neutral zone. That's just a mental error. On defense, you got to watch the ball. I understand the quarterback shouting and he's clapping and there's all this crowd noise, but you just got to hone in, watch the football before you come out of your stance. And this defense is a half a beat behind. They just can't quite keep up. They've got it down to the 21. Defense is about feeling out the offense and what they like to do. What are they going to do in third and short, third and medium, third and long? So far, the offense is winning. Defense is going to need to make some adjustments. Caught over the middle. It's Coleman. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Auburn hopes to get War Eagle flying in this red zone trip. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Running behind those pads, he gets a couple before he stopped at the 18. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Get it. Looking for the end zone. And that one is right on target if his target was the first row. And on fourth down, here comes the field goal unit. Field goal is good. And now the lead is even bigger. So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close. To you. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like, football is so fast-paced now and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. And the Rebels come to the line in the hurry-up. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. Solid work and execution there. They'll have a first down as they mark it at the 40. No huddle offense to the line. The pull and throw off the RPO. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Just an obvious holding call there, and one that just kills an offense's momentum. Wants to throw on first down, off the play fake. Makes the grab, it's Batley. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. Offense gets set for second down. Off the play fake. They're bringing heat. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. And this offensive line's got to do a better job. Man, you got to protect your quarterback. Listen, this offense is not playing great, but they got to somehow find a way to start to get something together here in the second half. If every journey begins with a step, this offense needs to step into a third down conversion and then try to turn it into some scores and fast. Grabbed over the middle, it's Harris. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. 
This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find it. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his, that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. He's got it again. The Rebels get enough to move the chains. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Got the quick pass. Gets enough for the first down, but not sure they'll get another playoff here in the third quarter. And the Rebels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. They'll try the run. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Give to the running back. They'll give him a couple that leaves him with third and eight. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Gonna run it. It's Bentley. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. Kick it away. And here's the return. And the returner will be knocked down. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. And now that cushion is a little bit smaller, Jesse, and any mistake would get magnified. Yeah, a little bit of pressure now on this offense too, David. I think they got to go back to their playmakers and get these guys going in the game. No doubt. Find those plays. Those plays you know you can run them in your sleep. You make sure you execute. Build this lead a little bit bigger. Put this thing away in the fourth quarter. This is the type of play that can give the offense momentum. Third and short from inside the 20. Trying to pick it up on the ground. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Auburn sends out the punting unit. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He's got great speed. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. Line gets set, first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. Got it in the middle, it's Watkins. Oh, and after the big game, the ball's loose. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. You know, this is a receiving group that practices making catches in traffic, and they're used to having guys trying to rip it free. He's got to do a better job of keeping five points of pressure. After he makes the catch, that's a costly giveaway. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Pressure coming. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football, and now they face third down. He's looking downfield to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Lewis. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He gets a block. They'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. So, guys, we'll see this offense again. 
from the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. The Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up. Out of the gun, the inside handoff looking for a crease. And he has a solid gain before the defense bottles him up. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Dropping back, it's Dart. Gonna try to pop one on the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Now here comes that Auburn offense onto the field again. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this run. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the putter at all. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. From the 20, it's second and short. They just need a couple. Out of the gun, the give to the back. And I think he got back to the two-yard line, but the defense was ready for the run. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Coming after him. Pressure got to him, couldn't get rid of it, and they got him for a safety. Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field. They got a chance to put points on the board, and they do. After getting caught for a safety, they're lined up and ready to kick it off. On the return, it's Watkins. They get him corralled, but not before he gets that return out to the 35. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. And don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. They go to the ground. Bulls his way forward. Only able to pick up a yard before he stopped, and now it's fourth and three. He'll call for the fair catch here. Okay, so here comes the offense returning to the field. Hands it off. Just wanted to find a little space to run and eats out some to get it up to the 21. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. Back to pass, it's Thorne. Got his man downfield. And it's a fumble after that huge game. Now the defense has got it going the other way. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Great spot to start this drive for the offense. And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. After the misfire, it's second down. They'll run play action. Fires toward the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Give to the back. Great move there. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. And the Rebels will hustle to the line. They'll ride the hot hand. They make the stop of this running game, moves the chains as they get the first down. And a touchdown here would not only give them the lead, but in the fourth quarter, that ramps up the pressure. 
keeping it on the ground on first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. He'll run it to the middle, looking for the end zone. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. This defense was put in a difficult spot, but they've made it tough, and now the offense faces third and goal. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. And this could prove to be the biggest play of the game. They'll go for it on fourth and goal. Fires to the end zone. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. Finds a crevice and picks up five out to the eight. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. They give it to him again. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Getting late, pressure building. Huge third down coming up on the road for this offense. Wants to throw, it's Thorne. Feeling some heat. It's another safety. Can you believe this second of the game? You could tell the defense smelled it. They knew exactly where they were on the field. Put the pressure on him, got him down in the end zone. Safety, baby. The kickoff team lined up. They'll have to give it back after giving up that safety. Bringing it back, it's White. Nice return there, and he'll be dragged down at the 34. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. These last couple of drives, Jesse, have been about the defense. He's going to throw deep right side. Grabs it inside the 15. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. They'll try to get it in with the run. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. If they can get it into the end zone here, they can really turn up the heat. And that one is picked up in the end zone. That might be the nail in the coffin, fellas. This offense, they're trying to get back in the game. They're having to be aggressive. You're now going to have to start taking chances. An errant throw ends up in the hands of the defense, and I think that's all she wrote. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. And Auburn is ready to go back to work on offense. Three-point lead. Put together a great drive here, Jesse. You can turn it into a two-possession game. Let's do that. Let's get a touchdown on the board. Let's find out where our playmakers have the best matchups. Let's exploit those, David. And it would put our defense in such a great position. Fourth quarter, two-possession lead. It makes it easy to play defense. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Auburn's going to have to send out the punt team. He'll try to really get into this one. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. 
He wants to start this drive with a pass. Complete to the right. And he's brought down after a nice game. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. Comes out throwing on first down. He wants to go deep. He's got it downfield for a huge game. Touchdown, Rebels! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. And they're able to score on a drive where they had to have it this late in the game, and they look to their playmaker on the outside to win that one-on-one -on -one match. Big-time moments. Who do you trust as a quarterback? You could tell this was a big moment. He threw it to his big play wide receiver. He knew he would come down to it, and now the big play in the fourth quarter for the touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Dynamite matchup today, fellas. Let's show you what's going down. Texas State has opened up a can right now. And based on what we've seen, I'm not sure anything is going to change. They're up by 18 over the Sharks. That's caught. It's Lambert Smith. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Trying to find his man on first down. Catch in the middle. It's Lambert Smith. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. And they spike it and get the clock stopped. Second down coming up. To the air. It's Thorne. Rifles it down the middle. Got it. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. And even though his team is trailing, this guy has stepped up time and time again for his offense. Already over 100 yards and now comes up with a massive play in a two-minute situation. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Well, the receiver was double covered on that play, and I don't know if the decision by... Touchdown, Tiger! And inside a minute to go, and they've got the lead. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space on the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. If he makes this one, the lead will be three, and at least a field goal won't beat you. And he knocks it through, and the lead is a field goal here in the fourth quarter. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he hauls it in, and everybody's on the edge of their seats. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. And if you list the priorities here, Jesse, first thing, get your kicker into his comfort zone. It's a balance here between being conservative and being aggressive. You know that a field goal obviously puts you in a position to win this game, but, David, I don't hate being aggressive here either. No, I'm going to be aggressive. I'm not leaving it up to my kicker if I have a choice. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. These crucial situations you practice so much. Inside of two minutes, they score, they win. Defensively, how do you bow your neck? You force a turnover, force the fumble, get the ball back to your offense. Go get me a few first downs. This one's over. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. A little sports history, David. Upset is the only horse ever to defeat Man of War. 
And that's why we call games like this an upset. I really had no clue that was a, a real thing. But I do know this is an upset. This team was unranked, beat a ranked team. But you went out and got your respect. You gained it now. Let's build on this throughout the season. One win, great win. Now let's go ahead and build some momentum in the future. Reese, some might say you're not a one-trick pony with that <laughs> reference. And obviously, this was the team, the unranked team, that had the horses to get this thing done. Too much firepower, just too much explosiveness on offense, great defense. What a tremendous win. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollack, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.